higher I am out, I have a tiny little balcony um, just off my office here at Edmonton Father's House. And what you're seeing behind me is the park that I look out to uh, that lots of people tend to sit in during the nice weather. Uh, very soon, I guess it's going to start filling up more and more with, of course, physical distancing being part of our reality right now. But I'm looking forward to the moment when the leaves start to come out on the trees and uh, we're just going to see green fill up our city. Uh, it's a place that I come often to look and part of my meditations and my prayer over my city, Edmonton, that I love. Uh, I want to read a scripture and share it with you today on Friday, our last day of uh, the work week, to encourage you and again thank you for joining us to pray. It means so much to know that you support us, that we're agreeing together in prayer. I want to read a scripture from Philippians that says this, Philippians chapter 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. I love that. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, if there is any virtue and if is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you've learned and received and heard and saw in me, do these and the God of peace will be with you. These are promises that Paul wrote to the church hundreds of years ago. They saw great tribulation. They lived in such challenging days when their very lives were out at stake simply for being a Christ follower. There was pestilence, there was plague, there was sicknesses, so much that they faced. And yet Paul says, be anxious for nothing, but just bring everything to Jesus and know that his peace that surpasses understanding will guard your heart and mind. I want to encourage you to bring it to Jesus today. I want you to make an effort to not be anxious, to not focus on the negative, to not look at all the problems. Be aware, be loving, be gentle, be kind, but meditate on things of good report that he is our peace that Jesus is with us and he is guarding our heart and our mind and he's taking care of us and supplying our needs. So let's pray together. Uh, let's agree, let's bind our hearts in prayer together today on behalf of our church, on behalf of our city, our loved ones. See, life is going on and Jesus is on the throne. Father, we come to you today in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the city of Edmonton and you've placed us here, Lord. You've planted us here that we would be a light for you. God, I pray that you would strengthen us with might deep inside our hearts as we carry on fulfilling your work, doing your will, Lord. I pray, God, that you would guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, that your peace would be settled deep in our souls, that even though people around us are anxious, Lord, we have a hope that lives in us that says, because he lives, we live also. I pray, God, for those who are suffering today. Lord, it's a fact of life. We cannot bury our heads and pretend all is well. There's nothing wrong. That's not what you ask us to do. We lift up those who are falling, those who are sick, those who are battling for their lives, God. We pray for them and we ask for your intervention. We ask for your divine healing to be upon them. Lord, we pray for people who are in the battle lines fighting to see people survive from this virus, God. We pray over them that they would be strengthened also. We pray for the people in our city. Even as I listen to the sounds of the traffic, the sounds of the city, God. I think how many of them don't know Jesus. Many of them that are not filled with your peace. Many of them that are, 
are living in uh, anxious thoughts and worry and depression and fear God, uh, some in anger and even hate because they're not happy with their life, their situation. I pray, God, I pray that we can shine Jesus to the world. I pray that we can be a presence here, that people will see us and they will glorify our Father in heaven because we love like you love, because we speak the words of life. So I ask this today over us. I pray for us, Lord, that we would continue to be the people of God. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing us. Thank you, Jesus, that we can lay our worries at your feet and that you care for us, that your love is unending. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name. God bless you. As you go about your day today, I pray that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind, that today you will note that difference. No, God is with me and his peace is upon me. I pray you are encouraged and that you continue to call upon our God. Bless you. See you next time. Bye for now.